Hi, everybody. Welcome to St. Louis. He's Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Two teams pretty evenly matched here. Ray, any final thoughts? Well, I kind of laughed as I heard both benches here talk about, oh, we got to get the first goal. Well, somebody's not going to get it. That doesn't mean the game's over. But I think it's really important to try and play the game at the pace you want to play. These two teams don't play the same style. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. The Blues take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Sends it in on the attack. Moves it to Slavin. And now it's to Aho. And he slides it quickly to Tara Vinen. Move to the middle. Here's a chance in front. And he denied that opportunity. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. The Blues take possession off the faceoff. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Drills them. Puck scooped up by Svechnikov. Pokes it away in his own end. Battling for it along the boards. Jabs the puck away. Tara Bynan's working it around in the corner. And makes the save. Slavin's able to deliver the puck to the net here. He's been out with an injury, and so I wondered if he was going to be able to be sharp in his first game back. The Blues don't have much to smile about when they look at the standings. I mean, they're looking up at pretty much everybody. A poor start to the season makes you chase it all year long. The Hurricanes win it. And he takes a shot. Simple glove save by Gillies. take possession here inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Hoffman. Return pass. Puts it on goal. Denied by Mrazic. Shen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Handles it along the blue line. Can't catch up to the pass. Brings the puck into the offensive end now. On the attack along the boards. Can't hang on after that hit. Taken by Falk. Takes the feed. Couldn't find the intended target. Into the offensive end now. Loose puck battle along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. From point blank, stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. O'Reilly's play style can be described as a car crash. He's in one every 15 feet. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The Blues have it behind the cage. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Sundquist. Tries to get it to Pareko. And they fail to go tape to tape. Moves it quickly over to McGinn. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Slides the puck to Krug. Looks to pass it to Sanford. And that pass goes awry. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Receives the pass, and he makes the save. Good battle along the boards for the puck. Krug's got it behind his own net. And some good footwork to kick it away. Here's a short pass to Sanford. St. Louis is across the blue line. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. And now he tries to get it across to DeSingle. Tees him up, makes the save. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puck grabbed by Slavin. Tries to the crease. Couldn't complete the play. The Blues have it from their own end. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. 
Levels them with the hit. Puck picked up by Bozak. Slides it back to the blue line. Knocked away. Quick pass to Bozak. And they can't connect. Turns it away. He's only one goal away from his next real achievement. You know he'd like to get it here. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. More than half the period left to play. Still looking for our first goal. St. Louis takes possession off the faceoff. Off the one-timer, and that's blocked. Carolina's across the blue line. Penalty coming up here as the officials all over that slash. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Slashing the call, you know about these. Yeah, you get nabbed for them. I mean, the worst slash you can make is when you slash somebody in the pants. It's like somebody's hitting a drum. It sounds loud, and you don't even hurt the guy. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. Their first power play of the game. The game is scoreless, and now they'll start offensive zone faceoff. Move the puck around, get it to the net, and try and impose your will on the other team. The Hurricanes gain possession along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick feed to Ajo. He says, let's get physical on that play. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Angles it over to Hamilton. Ajo's carrying it ahead. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Moves it to Shen. Moves the puck across to Thomas. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Blues will kill off a few extra seconds now. They move the puck out of harm's way. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves it quickly over to Trocek. From the right side, they gain the zone. Strong defensive effort. Right in front! Scrum along the boards. And the puck's booted away. Here's a short pass to Tara Vinen. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Dying seconds of this man advantage. They'll try to start it from here. Yeah, get it moving quickly up the ice. Get into the zone. See if you can get puck to the net really quickly. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Dumps it into the O-zone. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Pareko. And that shot gets caught in traffic. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. Centering pass. And he can't find his man. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. And he coughs it up with the pass. And that carries off a stick. Here's a pass down low. Huge steal in his own end. Stall stick handling in his own zone. And he gets a whistle after they've been under siege here. They look like five strangers trying to defend in front of him. No Finally, kidding. he's able to cover it up. Nowhere to hide on this one. He's in a position he knows he's got to block, and he lays down and blocks the shot. Well past the midway mark of this period, we've still got zeros on the board. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Quick feed to Niederreiter. St. Louis gains a hold of it. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Moves it to Hoffman. Sends it over. Puck scooped up by Shea. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Fogel. To the low slot. And now it's grabbed by Pesci. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Stones him in front. Taken by Pareko. Coughs up possession of the puck. Can't find his man. Schwartz brings it in. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Slides it diagonally to Hoffman. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Carolina's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a chance right in the slot. He was locked in there. Gilly's able to turn aside that dangerous opportunity. And now he moves it quickly to Shea. Puts it on net for the point. Scores! Bad luck for the 
goalie, great luck for the shooter here. This is stopped about 90%. Hey, you got to stop 100% of it because now it's in the cage. The Hurricanes get a little breathing room as they take a 1-0 lead. They've worked hard for this goal, James. There's not been much room on the ice, but they're able to get out in front. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Blues have it against the wall. Moves the puck over to Sanford. Tosses it on to Bortuzzo. St. Louis plays it along the wing. Just slide. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Great poke check on the reach. Takes the puck along the boards. Here's a chance. And that one's blocked. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Sends the pass over. And that's picked off in front. The Blues will play it in their own end. And it's kicked away. Back to the blue line. And he stands tall in goal. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Carolina's up one zip. Gets a hold of the puck. St. Louis plays it along the boards. Cutting to the slot. Denies him. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Here's an offensive chance. Picked up along the boards by Fleury. Moving into the attacking zone. Nice zone entry on the left side. Good defensive effort to poke it away. The Hurricanes take it along the wall. And they'll dump it in. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And he can't hang on after that hit. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. Sends it over to Flurry. Here's a short pass to single. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Nothing doing on that. Grabbed along the board by Bozak. Puck moved over to Perron. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Looks to set up at the point now. Up along the wing. Carolina's moving it into the offensive end. And he slides it quickly to Pesci. No one home on that play. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Quick pass to Tarasenko. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Stays with it. Puck grabbed by O'Reilly. Centering pass! Gives them nothing in front. For all the new styles of jerseys, shirts, hats, and other collectibles. Morazic's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. The Hurricanes have been the better team so far in this first period. They've had multiple scoring opportunities and as a result have the lead. Inside the final minute of the first here. Directed over to Martinik. Can't connect. Stahl's got it against the boards. Fails to find the open man. The Blues gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's a chance. Oh, what a slick stop by Morazic. That pass doesn't go. Quick feed to Sanford. The Blues take it along the wall. Here's a shot blocked in front. Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. The Hurricanes skating off with a 1-0 lead after 20. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating his birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth and they'll see their name. And as both teams head to the respective rooms, Two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Opening face off for period number two, about set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Well, we've got over 20 minutes played thus far. Ray, how have you seen things? Carolina has been really good so far. They're playing defense by being in the offensive zone. They have the majority of the shots and a one-goal lead. 
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Ajo's won the draw. Moves it to Teravainen. Passes it over to Perron. The Blues looking against the half wall. Moves it quickly over to Pareko. Oh, slick work with the glove by Mrazek. He worked hard to find the puck, but it's also because he's in great position. Carolina's been the more aggressive team offensively, and they continue to lead here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denies that opportunity. He makes the glove stop right from the slot. That's a dangerous chance. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. From center, they get into the attacking area. He grabs the puck here at the point. Quick pass to Tarasenko. Couldn't complete the play. Big time stop. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Passes it to Fogel. Carolina's on the attack. St. Louis has it in their own zone. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Excellent stick work on the play. Grabs control of it at the point. And now he angles it across to Niederreiter. Couldn't make that one happen. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. I love making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. The centermen glide into position. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Quick pass across to Schwartz. With possession along the wall. Puts it to the front of the net. Here's a shot. And that was stopped. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Couldn't connect on that pass. Here's a short pass to Fult. The Blues move to the offensive zone. Maintains possession. Stick saved by Mrazek. That pass goes a little sideways. Sends it over to DeSingle. Not able to connect. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Looks to get the puck over to Dunn. Slides it to Sanford. Pass back to the point. There's a shot off a stick. Puck picked up by Shea. Down the right side and into the zone. Good hit to knock the puck loose. St. Louis has it near the wall. And the puck's kicked free. Looking for space inside the D zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Scrum ensues along the boards. Take it along the wall by Bolt. Misses! Now oh, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Flurry's moving the puck through his own zone. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Tosses it to Bozak. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Scandellas got it along the wing. Can't catch up to the pass. Scooped up along the wall by Martinuk. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Takes the feed. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a shot, and he comes up with it. The Blues have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Nothing. The Blues gain possession along the wall. And now he moves it to Bortuzzo. And they send it right back to him. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Hangs on to the puck. The Hurricanes take possession in the defensive end. Couldn't find the intended target. And he gains the zone here. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Scores! Toivo Teravainen! You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you.
Canes have now jumped out to a two-goal lead here in the second, and it's pretty much a result of the way they played here tonight, Ray. They, it is, James. They've done a nice job. They've controlled the play. They've had the pace of the game in their favor, had the majority of shots on goal, and they've been rewarded. St. Louis gains control of the puck. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Puck scooped up by Ajo. St. Louis has it in the open ice. Works it across to Shen. And it's a quick pass to Krug. Sends a pass over. The Blues played along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Carolina's got the puck in their own end. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. And now it's grabbed by Slavin. Pass across to Hamilton. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Nice poke check. Manages to hang on. The Hurricanes grab possession to the puck. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Pareko's able to get everything behind this hit. He really lays one on here. Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. The Hurricanes now lead by two. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Tarasenko's got it along the boards. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Handles the puck. Across the line from center. Takes a shot. Comes up with the stop. Slides the puck across to Tarasenko. Great defensive effort with the stick. Quick feed to Perron. The Blues played along the wing. Taken by Shea. Slides the puck across to Niederreiter. Saucer feed. Big play inside the defensive zone. Moves the puck down low. Solid check to slow him down. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. The Blues have it from their own end. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Pokes it away in his own end. The singles got it along the boards. He scores! What a shot! What a pass! One time clap ball. Beautiful shot. add yet another and they have been dominant from the start really impressive performance for them all 18 skaters plus the goaltender have been excellent tonight puck grab by Bortuzzo pass to Scandella slides it over to Sundqvist and they fail to go take to take feeds the puck across to Trocek the Blues gain possession in their own end St. Louis has possession of it now. Denied by the goaltender. Oh, that goal is 99th. Puts him right at the cusp of 100 career goals. The Hurricanes have been putting lots of shots on net and have been rewarded for their efforts. Stalls won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Shot stopped by the goaltender. Through center along the wing. Great balance as he scoops it back up. Wrist one in front. Stopped by the goaltender. That's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Pinned up along the boards. The Hurricanes move the puck in the defensive zone. Sends it in deep. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Sanford's got the puck. Strong defensive effort. Picked up along the wall by Blaine. Moves it to Ajo. The Hurricanes take it along the wing. And he regains control of the puck. And makes the save. He scores! That's four strikes! 
They are so hot right now. Every pass, every shot is right in the perfect place. Oh, it just trickles over the goal line. The goaltender stopped most of it, just not all of it. been sharp stopping the puck tonight he's got a really good save percentage and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well nice pass quick pass to schwartz snaps it on that tremendous stop by morazic deflected away nice defensive use of the stick there st louis gains a hold of it puck picked up by true now a quick pass to Hoffman. Here they come up along the wing. The Hurricane scoop it up along the boards. And that pass goes awry. Gains the zone through center. Moves right to the middle. Here he is in close. Stopped by the goaltender. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Gets in front of it. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck in their own end. Dishes it to Shea. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. Great poise here as he gets it back. Unloads one, and it comes up with the save. And we'll get a whistle as the puck goes out of bounds after that stop. Morazic's been perfect so far. He's kind of doing this all by himself. So busy, and he's been phenomenal tonight. Carolina's been an impressive club to watch tonight, especially offensively, as they lead big here late in the second. Nice job tying up his opponent. And nearing the final minute of the second, here's a short pass to Tarasenko. Driving right to the front. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. And he slides it quickly to Pesci. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Blows him up on that hit. Scrum along the boards. Carolina's got a hold of it against the wall. And the puck banks off the glove. And the period has come to an end in what has been a very one-sided affair tonight. What's in store for the third period? Let's tune in to find out just moments away. Forty minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. Here we go, third period set to get underway. Simply too much to not enough at this point. Ray, with two periods in the books, what are your thoughts on the game to this point? St. Louis doesn't really have to change too much. Just find a way to get a puck past this goaltender. Must look like a beach ball down there to him. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. Played big in the moment there. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Best impersonation for a raging ball base for that charging call. About halfway through that, the officials got his radar up. If he doesn't slow down, the call's going to be made. Another chance here on the man advantage. Easiest thing in the world, James. Tell somebody else to relax. The power play hasn't scored yet. They're not relaxed, and it's not easy to do, but that's the key to success. Knocked away. Picked up along the boards by Scantilla. Loses his balance on the play. Hoffman's lugging the puck. And now it's over to Scandella. Delayed penalty coming up here. 
Jabs the puck away. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And play is finally halted here. Let's see what the call is. Interference is the call. Intentions were good, though, I would think. Yeah, but you gotta realize I'm in the wrong spot. I can't get in the way like he did. Puck set to drop. We've got some four-on-four four coming up. Really only two ways to play the four-on-four. Four. You're either uber-aggressive or you're ultra-conservative. I want to be aggressive, force the other guys into a mistake. One minute, 15 seconds. The Hurricanes look to start the transition game. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Quick feed to Shane. The Hurricanes carried along the wall. Carolina's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides the puck over. Comes up with the stop. Bennington's job is not just to stop the puck, but get it out of danger. He does that here. Turn that one aside. Quick hands. Not only does he get a glove on it, he catches it, which is hard to do. The Hurricanes have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Thomas quick on the draw. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps back out onto the ice. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. Carolina's done a wonderful job putting a lot of pucks on net, and they lead it early in this third period. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Right in the slot! Stopped by the goaltender. Morazic's read the situation, and he's just going to let it breathe here, Ray. Well, every once in a while, the goalie will get a sense that the guys are starting to run around. He's been on top of it tonight. Been an excellent game. Ooh, they lost their coverage there. They give up the odd man break. But the goaltender again, sharp on the stop. We're still in the early stages of this period. This has been a lopsided affair. 4 nothing is where we're sitting. That goes wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. The Hurricanes take possession off the face-off. Grabbed along the boards by Hamilton. Trying to get back on the attack now. Moves into the slot. Denies him in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Morazic's been on his game right since the puck hit the ice for the first time. No matter how much pressure he's been under, he's been calm and he's stopped everything so far. And they take possession. Nice job tangling him up on the draw. Carolina's gained possession along the boards. Keeps hold of the puck. Carolina's got it in the neutral zone. Taken along the wall by Svechnikov. Ajo's got it through the neutral zone. On the attack along the boards. And that's blocked. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Pins them against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Scooped up along the wall by O'Reilly. Moves it to Tarasenko. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Moves it quickly over to Ajo. Takes the feed. Moves inside! Fantastic save! St. Louis takes possession along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Hoffman. Excellent stick work on the play. Oh, what a save with the stick by Mrazek! Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. Hamilton's got it through center. Quick pass to Fogel. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Blues have it now. Slides the puck to Schwartz. Nice zone entry from the right side. Here's a short pass to O'Reilly. Made that stop. Carolina's got the puck along the wall. Quick feed to Niederreiter. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. The Hurricanes get a hold of it. Picked up along the wall by Fogel. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Battling for it along the boards. Grabs the puck in the slot. Move to the middle. Big save.
We're going to back this up again and get another look at this stop the goalie makes. He makes a solid save on a really dangerous chance. Carolina's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Can't maintain possession. Moves it to single. Couldn't complete the play. Picked up along the boards by Flurry. Feeds the puck to Trocek. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Puck scooped up by DeSingle. Carolina's got it in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to McGinn. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Trocek. Can't find his man. Puck battle along the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Stays with it. Huge stop. He scores! On the rebound. Lights the lamp for the goal. A uh, goalie burps up this rebound here. It comes right back into the shooting area and the rebound is put away. The Hurricanes have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. Blaze carrying it ahead, and the puck's not loose. Maintains possession. Big time defensive play. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Blues have it against the wall. Misses the net. Not going to be happy with this. He's got the opportunity to score. Doesn't register a shot on goal. Shea's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. Grabbed along the board by play. Picking up momentum inside the neutral zone. Gets the puck in deep. The Hurricanes scoop it up along the boards. Takes the pass. Svechnikov's going to play it against the half wall. Denied by the goaltender. Chicago's the final stop on this road trip. Always a fun city to visit. I don't know how hospitable they'll be here, though. Well, it's a great city if you've got time to go walk around in it, but lots of times you just get in and look at the next opponent and try and save up your energy. The Hurricanes ready to go on the attack. Comes up with a stop. Finnington's positioning is perfect on this scoring chance. That slapper climbs on him in a hurry. The Hurricanes offense has been the story tonight as they continue to lead big time in the third. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Carolina's got possession at center. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. They go on the attack through center. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Scandella stick handling in his own zone. Quick pass to Perron. Carolina's in now. From the point, they take control of it. Completely misses on the play. You don't even make the goalie work here. You've got to make him have to do something in the net. Quick feed to Scandella. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Takes the feed. Tarasenko's calling card is his scoring. Not tonight. He doesn't have a sniff. And his team is getting punted pretty badly. Gains the zone through the middle. Takes the puck at the point. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Blues take it across the blue line. Cannon of a shot. What a save. He'll probably feel that one tomorrow. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves it around along the half wall. And a poke check knocks the puck away. 
And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Launches it from the point! Just a little too much on that one. Yeah, but when you're 60 feet away, you're not scoring into the top of the net very often. You're not going to get a screen very often either. Gets a hold of the puck here at his own end. And now he moves it quickly to McGinn. The Hurricanes play it along the boards. Looking to set up offensively. Taken along the wall by McGinn. And now it's grabbed by Sanford. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Carolina's got the puck along the boards. Here they come. Pokes the puck away. Moves it to Sanford. And we've got a two-on-one. Chance in front. Oh, a clutch save. Scooped up along the wall by Trocek. Taken by McGinn. Officials blowing the play dead. We've got a penalty on the way here. Sunfist hack. Not a popular one of the eyes of the officials here. Now nah, that's a frustration penalty. It's a bad one for him to take. The Hurricanes send their man advantage unit out once more. Oh, here they go again. They haven't had a lot of power plays tonight, James. But here's a chance to crack through with the man advantage. Grips it, rips it, big time save of the one-timer. 44 seconds. Carolina's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Offense is on face off, and he wins the draw. The Blues will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Dished on over to Bozak. And the puck leaves the zone. St. Louis takes possession at center. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck against the wall. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. From their own end, trying to kickstart this power play. Here's a short pass to Trocek. Takes a shot. Oh! Just wide of the net. From my angle, that looked like it was going in. He just misses that wide. St. Louis will try to kill a few seconds off this penalty. Dumped in and they'll go off. The Hurricanes get a hold of the puck along the boards. Gaining momentum along the wing. And the puck's back on his blade here at center. Nothing doing on that. St. Louis has it near the wall. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Strong defensive effort. And he slides it quickly to Ajo. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. In the third period. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. Moves it to Ajo. Set it out in front. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Oh! There's going to be a regret in this one. That might be it. Yeah, that play is right there to be had. They just miss the pass. The scoring chance goes away. Carolina's got the puck. Feeds it over to Svechnikov. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves the puck along the half wall. Knocked away. Denies him with the blocker. What a stop by Bennington. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Hurricanes are in the home stretch of this one, leading big time in the third. Stalls won the draw here in the offensive zone. And that goes off a player in front. Up along the wing. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Huge steal in his own end. And he hangs on just as time runs out. And there it is. This one's all over. His first shutout of the season is a beauty. He played well. The team played well in front of him as well. Is that a confidence booster now going forward? Has to be. You throw off a donut, you feel good about yourself. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.
everybody, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabalski. Welcome to St. Louis, Missouri. The Sharks have a quick turnaround as they're right back into the fire tonight, Ray. Sometimes the team on the back-to-back -back plays really well early, like they're into the game. Eventually, though, you run out of gas, and that's where you have to watch what happens in a back-to-back -back scenario. Both teams seem ready, and they are about to drop the puck on this opening faceoff. The Sharks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Moves it quickly over to Tarasenko. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Puck grabbed by Vlasic. And it's a quick pass to Couture. Puts it on net with the stop. And we'll get a face-off after that save as the puck sails out of bounds. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We're still scoreless. Off the draw and a nice job locking up his opponent. Quick pass to Crew. No one home on that play. Play whistle dead because of an offside. The Blues win it. Puck picked up by Pareko. Receives the pass. And now he angles it across to Meyer. Tries to get the puck over to Kane. And now he moves it to Couture. Can't connect. Easily turned aside by Jones. Wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Makes the save. Quick feed to Simic. The Sharks are in transition. Puck dumped in. Find some space in the corner. And now it's over to Simic. Handles the puck. The Blues have it from their own end. Feeds the puck to Hoffman. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Blues take it across the line. Puts it up front, and that one's broken up. Great block there. O'Reilly's physical play will put him among the league leaders in hits year after year. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. St. Louis wins the draw. And that one's broken up. Nice zone entry from the middle. Puck scooped up by Hurdle. Stopped by the goaltender. Krug's not got anything done recently offensively, and you know it's starting to eat away at him. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Tries to feed it over to Sanford. Slides it across to Thomas. In the offensive zone with the puck. You know he's thinking about his next milestone that's sitting one goal away. And now it's grabbed by Sanford. Sunfist moving it ahead. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. The Blues look to start the transition game. Here's a short pass to Bortuzzo. Fails to find the open man. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. That's a textbook save by Jones. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. And a nasty whack after the whistle here. Yeah, he went after him pretty good there. That's a hard slash. Bortuzzo's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Here's a first look at the power play. 
This has been a pretty tightly played game, but now they've earned the game's first power play. So they've got an opportunity to get the first strike on the board, start with an offensive zone face-off, and a chance to get out in front. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Into the offensive zone. Here he is in front, and that's picked off. Gets it out of his own end. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Passes over to Couture. Here's a shot. Traps that puck tight to his chest. And there's the whistle stopping the play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Shen's won the faceoff. Trying to clear the zone. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. That pass doesn't go. Shot right in front. Great stick saved by Jones. And he came out and challenged him. Good save. Taken by Donato. Moves it to LeBanc. Drives it to the crease. His reflexes on display tonight. St. Louis gains a hold of the puck against the boards. And a successful clearing attempt. San Jose's got the puck inside the defensive zone. LeBanc's got it across the line. Here's the pass. Oh, he might be shaking his head after that one. Pretty good shot. Nice delivery of the shot, but the goaltender beats him. Forces the turnover. Sends the pass over. Quick pass to Marlowe. Right up front. Can't connect. Picked up along the wall by Crew. Fultz got it in the defensive end. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Scrum along the boards. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Puck knocked loose after that hit. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Thomas. Tries to get the puck to O'Reilly. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. Smart defensive play there. Couldn't complete the play. Gets the puck over to LeBanc. Couldn't make that one happen. Puck grabbed by Couture. Denies him in close. This is a quality chance that the goaltender turns aside right from the slot. Gillies can take a look up at the big scoreboard and know that that save was a great one. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period, still looking for our first goal. The Blues win the draw. Sends a pass over. And now he tries to get it across to Perron. Turns the puck over. Great read defensively there. Nice poke check. Quick feed to Scandella. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Bozak. Puck picked up by Burns. Now a quick pass to Kane. The Sharks move it in. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Scores! Oh, what a one-timer to bury it! He got clear in the low slot, found where the opening was, and takes that pass to one time and pass the goalie. The Sharks get a big one here in the back half of the first. It's almost like the other team's been sleepwalking a little bit. So many of the shots have been one way. Eventually, the lead's going to be taken. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Couture. Big play inside the defensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Pokes the puck away. The Sharks have it against the wall. Moves it to Couture. With the stop. St. Louis gains a hold of it. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone.
slides the puck over to Meyer. San Jose's got it across the line. Puck scooped up by Meyer. Answered the call there. Gillies makes an excellent save on this scoring chance. Past the midway mark in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. San Jose's won the faceoff. Here's a shot, and that one's turned away. The Blues take it along the wall. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Fired into the offensive zone, allowing for the blue line to change things up. From center, they get into the attacking area. Picked up along the boards by Hurdle. Moved into the middle. Takes a shot. That goes off a twig. Scandella's got the puck along the wing. Couldn't connect on that pass. Sends it down low. Nice pass. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. The Sharks move it ahead. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. The Sharks looking against the half wall. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Puck knocked loose in the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Through center. The Sharks move to the offensive zone. Pokes it away in his own end. Manages to hang on. And now it's grabbed by Dunn. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Strong defensive effort. And he regains control of the puck. Slides it on over to Nosen. Great hand-eye coordination as he gets the puck back. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. The Sharks have controlled this game here in the first period. More shots, more goals. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Throws it in. St. Louis has possession of it now. Grabbed along the board by Sanford. Dunn's taking it from his own end. And now he angles it across to Sanford. Pumped off the puck. The Sharks gain possession in their own end. Moves it over to Nosen. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. Good hit on the play. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. And now he moves it to Sanford. Puts it in deep. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Across the line from center. A chance in front! And will play on as that goes off the outside of the post. The Sharks continue the lead, but they would have loved to have stretched it out after that one hits the post. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. And he slides it quickly to play. St. Louis on the attack. Out front, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Slides the puck over. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Taken by Pareko. Quick pass to Perron. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. Inside the offensive zone. Puck grabbed by Crew. Tries to get it over to Perron. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Directs it on over to Kane. Quick feed to Couture. Move to the middle. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. Couture's rolling along on his point streak. You know he wants it to keep going. San Jose's got the lead here late in this first period. Steps in and takes the puck. Angles it over to Tarasenko. And a great heads-up defensive play here. The Sharks have done a good job with their sticks, intercepting passes, yet they haven't been able to stretch this game out. And that closes the book on the first 20 minutes of this one. The Sharks get off to a good start. They lead 1-0. Listen up, fans. For tonight only, all teams.
Second period still to come. We'll take a quick pause and be right back with more action. We are about ready to get underway here for the second period. O'Reilly's won the draw. And now it's over to Tarasenko. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Right to the middle. Rister turns it away. San Jose's moving it along the wing. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Picks off the feed. And now he tries to get it across to Perron. Dumps it in. San Jose's got the puck. Through center along the wing. Hangs on to the puck. Here he is, shot right in front. Turn that chance aside. Dead center, excellent save. Moves it quickly over to O'Reilly. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kane. Puck picked up by Pareko. And now he angles it across to Schwartz. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. And that's broken up with a stick in front. The Blues will play it from the defensive zone. Along the half wall with the puck. From the slot, wrist shot, that goes off the mask. And off the save, that one goes into the crowd for a souvenir. Bumpy flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. San Jose's got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason of that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. San Jose's up one zip. St. Louis takes possession off the draw. And that one's blocked. Yeah, good positioning, James. He gets up tight to the shooter and snuffs that one. And now he moves it quickly to Marlowe. Moves it over to Hurdle. The Blues have it from their own end. Schwartz moves it ahead. On the attack along the boards. And that's picked off in front. The Sharks look to start the transition game. And now he moves it to Sorensen. And he slides it quickly to Burns. And makes the save. The centermen glide into position. The Sharks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Stones them in front. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. St. Louis gains a hold of possession. He got all of that one. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. St. Louis tries to break out from their own end. Slides it over with pace to Fulk. Pokes the puck away. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And he makes the save. Here's a short pass to Sundvist. And that's taken by the defense. And now it's over to Nieto. That pass goes a little sideways. And he denied that opportunity. The Blues scoop it up along the boards. Taken along the wall by Bozak. Trying to get back on the attack now. Passes the puck over to Sanford. And now he tries to get it across to Thomas. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Jones gets on top of the puck, stopping the play. Now you can get some fresh guys on the ice. Get yourself restarted. San Jose's lead here in the second period, a direct result of being the more aggressive team offensively. Bozak's won the draw. Just wide. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Now he slides it up to Nosen. The Sharks are on the attack. Jabs the puck away. 
scooped up along the wall by Bozak. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Can't hang on to the puck after the play. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Oh, what a save in front. Gillies gets out to make that stop. It's an excellent one. Takes it out of the offensive zone and back to center. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Move to the middle. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Picked up along the wall by Scandella. With possession along the wall. Centering pass in front. And that one stopped. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Slides it diagonally to Kane. Picks off the pass. Moves it on over to Krug. Not able to connect. The Sharks grab possession to the puck. Drives to the sweet spot. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and makes it count. Well, if he was about four inches taller, maybe he would have got to that desperation effort, but no goal. The Sharks have been shooting nonstop, and now they're seeing the results, Ray. Eventually, you wear the other guys down, and you would think that they're tired, they're worn out because they're chasing the puck all the time. Now they're down two. How do you get that back? Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Knocked away. The Blues have it against the wall. Lifts the stick and takes the puck. Picked up along the boards by Pareko. St. Louis plays it up ahead. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. The Sharks gain possession along the wall. Nice zone entry from the right side. Puck scooped up by Kane. And he comes up with it. San Jose's message going into this one when we talked to them at the morning skate was to get a lot of pucks on net. They've done just that, and they lead as a result. Moves it to Sorensen. Comes up with a stop. Gillies has played so well tonight, but it really doesn't matter if the guys at the other end don't start scoring some goals. Feeds it on over to O'Reilly. Gains the zone on the left wing. Here's a chance. Oh, what a big time stop by Jones. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Past the halfway mark of this period. San Jose's got a 2-0 lead. The Sharks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Pushes it across to Marlowe. Aaron pass and the play's broken up. Look out, a two-on-one. Excellent stick work on the play. I think it's a chance for a breather here as he hangs on and covers the puck up. Who, for the players or for you? Well, you know, I won't complain. He clearly thought he had room to get by but it got closed off in a hurry. He took a big hit there. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. San Jose's got it in the defensive zone. Quick pass to Vlasic. Takes the feed. It's a two-on-one. Glove save, and he made it look simple. wins the draw. Quick feed to Sanford. Across the line and on the attack. Oh, smart heads up play to put that one away. The Sharks get a hold of the puck. Here's a shot denied by the goaltender. The Sharks continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. From the right side, they gain the zone. And he loses.
loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. And he stands tall in goal. More than half the frame has been played here. The Sharks lead this one to zip. Shen's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Takes the shot, comes up with the block. Takes the pass, and that shot dies in traffic. The Blues gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end, and they come up empty handed. San Jose's got it along the wall. The Sharks carry it along the wall. And that's picked off. Gains the zone through center. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. St. Louis plays it along the wing. He might have a step here. Cutting to the front of the net. What a stop by the goalie. Man, he read that like a children's book. Nowhere to go once the deke was made. Oh, and another big stop. Really sharp, never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. Grabbed along the board by Schwartz. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Here he is, wrists it on net, and he gets a paddle on that one. Quick pass over to Tarasenko. They go on the attack through center. Moves it quickly over to Schwartz. Too many bodies in the way. Classics, and he's going after him here. And look at the crowd on their feet for this one. Yeah, these two guys might not like each other, but they're going to square off, and they won't like each other in a few seconds. Oh, and he caught him right there, and that'll pretty much do it. Yeah, that's not going to go to the judges. Well, the road team will probably get a lift there. Their guy did a nice job in that tilt. A wild couple of minutes there, and things have finally cooled down as both teams will settle in for the faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. San Jose's in transition. From the half wall, a chance! What a stop as he puts out the fire! The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. From the left side, they gain the zone. A chance! Stopped by the goaltender. Gillies is on it tonight. That slapper is really moving, and he turns it aside. San Jose's been the better team tonight, and they lead as a result late in the second. Hurdles won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Takes the feed. Strong defensive effort. Here they are on the attack. Shot in front. Oh, what a chance, and he puts it wide of the net. Good delivery, he got rid of that in a hurry, but he ends up missing the net. Late goings of this period, San Jose's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. The frozen biscuits dropped and we are back underway here. Receives the pass. Right out in front. And they can't convert to the play. Here's a short pass to Marlowe. St. Louis with possession in their own zone. Dumped in and they'll go get some fresh legs. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Shoots it and makes the save. One of the things he was working on is trying to control where the puck goes after he stops it. The corner is a pretty safe place. Marlowe's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Sorensen. Glove save! How did he get a piece of that? Takes the feed from the left side. And it's a quick pass to Thomas. Can't catch up to the pass. St. Louis has it near the wall. And forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Donato's got it on the offensive end. 
takes a shot, and that banks off a stick. He was locked in there. St. Louis gets the puck near the boards. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice and tries to make a diagonal pass to Donato. Handles the puck. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Dishes it to Shimmick. Looks to pass it to Donato. And that one's picked off. Horn sounds to end the second period. San Jose's been excellent in their own end. They have given up absolutely nothing. And they lead a two-step. Don't go anywhere. The third period is just moments away. Scan the barcode on your tickets today to earn points for the is going to have to finish up tonight's game one skater short. Their injured player will not return. Thanks very much for the update, Ray. Well, that certainly changes things now. Yes, it does. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? The Blues are trailing in this game, and really sometimes the stats tell you the whole story. They have not had the puck very much, and as a result, they're not generating any offense. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. The Sharks are currently sitting in the driver's seat, leading 2-0. Good job tangling up his opponent here. Steps into the offensive end. Here's a shot. Gives them nothing in front. Sharp reaction save. Puck sent over to Tarasenko. Sent into the offensive zone. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. Taken along the wall by Shimmick. And now it's grabbed by Meyer. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Centering pass. Puts it high. Yeah, it sounds great. Hit the net, though. You got a better chance to score. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Takes that one right in the logo. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Gillies does really nice job here to get himself in front of the puck, keep his eyes locked on it, and make the stop. San Jose's outplayed the opposition tonight, particularly offensively, as they lead it early in this third period. St. Louis wins the draw here in the offensive zone. Quick pass to Shen. Taken by Yaros. Nice defensive robbery with the stick. And there's the save. Quick feed to Marlowe. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Jones has been so busy, but he's been outstanding tonight. Every shot has been turned away with precision. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. won the draw here in the open ice along the right side into the offensive zone moves it quickly over to Sorensen St. Louis has possession of it now here they come inside the neutral zone along the boards they battle for the puck St. Louis gains a hold of possession the Blues scoop it up along the boards St. Louis has it in the open ice Defensive stop with the poke check. Here's a chance, a two on one. Gets in front of it. Puck grabbed by Dunn. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Centering pass. Perfect timing to get on the board. Man, they would have liked this a long time ago, James. They've been working away trying to punch through. They finally get one by the goaltender. I don't think the goaltender gets a look at this at all, James. He just drops into the butterfly. He's hoping the thing hits him through that traffic. St. 
St. Louis might be setting us up for a pretty fun finish down the stretch here, Ray. Uh, once the pressure gets on, everything becomes unpredictable. Only trailing by one, they can't take their foot off the gas. Scored by number 70, Oscar San Jose's got the puck along the wall. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Puck goes out of play, and we'll have a face-off. San Jose's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Takes possession off the draw. San Jose's got possession here in the neutral zone. Moves it to LeBanc and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Gains the zone through the middle. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Nice poke check. That knocks him off the puck. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Here he is in front. Misses. It was right there, Ray. And, oh, it's such a great chance, and he doesn't get the shot on net. Scooped up along the wall by Donato. Battle along the boards. The Blues will play the puck from behind the net. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Here's a short pass to Meyer. Takes a bump but still hangs on to the puck. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. And now he angles it across to O'Reilly. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Here he is from the slot. Oh, he comes up with a stop as he got the glove on it. Gilles Levesque blows the whistle and someone is off to the box. Myers mugging of the player pretty cut and dry on this one, holding the call. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. The Blues get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. What a great chance here. Down by a goal. And you have an opportunity to tie it up on the power play. Holding. Time of the penalty. Seven minutes, 37 seconds. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's 2-1. And sneaks in and grabs possession. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Maintains possession. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. The Blues played along the wing. Chris one. Stopped by the goaltender. O'Reilly's value was on the ice here. Playing hockey, generating chances. He got frustrated and got into that fight earlier. He's not helping his team at all there. Jones holds his position really well here. He's able to make the stop. That's a good scoring chance that he snuffs out. Minnesota's up next on the schedule. Always a tough test, it feels like, in this league, isn't it? Yeah, the prep will go once you get past this current game. Some guys don't want to know who's next. Some guys want to know everything in advance. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Blues have it against the wall. The Sharks ready to go on the attack. That opportunity is rejected. Sometimes you're in close. There's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Hot moved over to Donato. A chance to clear. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. Couldn't find the intended target. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. Turns them away. We'll get a face-off here as the puck goes out of play on that save. That save had to be a jolt. We get a look at it, you see it hits them right in the face. San Jose's been the better team tonight. They have turned good defense into solid offense, and they lead here in the third. Thomas has won the face-off. And they fail to go tape to tape. Scrum ensues along the boards. Slides it quickly to LeBanc. The Sharks take it along the wing. The Blues' power play has expired. Both teams now back at even strength. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it done. And we go back to even strength. The Sharks play it along the boards. Nice defensive robbery on that. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Here's a chance. 
St. Louis has it in the defensive end. Straight up the middle. Here they come. St. Louis plays it against the boards. Picked up along the wall by Yaros. The Sharks take it across the line. San Jose's on the attack. Puck picked up by Meyer. St. Louis takes possession along the wall. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. And the defenders come up with the puck. And that pass goes awry. St. Louis gains a hold of it. The Blues are in transition. Quick pass to Blake. Couldn't complete the play. Keeps hold of the puck. Gets it over to Hurdle. San Jose's got it against the boards. Smart defensive play here in the open ice. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Stays with it. Blocked in traffic. Comes up with the stop. Puck scooped up by Crew. Gaining momentum up along the side. Quick pass across to Kane. Denied by the goaltender. Gillies decides to cover it up for the whistle. I don't mind this. The game's tight. You want to make sure that the decisions you make are the right ones. Too tough to make up a bad error now. More than half the period has expired. The Sharks are clinging to a 2-1 lead. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Up along the wing. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Referee's got his hand extended. He caught that trip right in front of him. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. So often in a, in a shifty little play, the, you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick and there's nothing you can do. The Blues send their man advantage unit out once more. When you don't get many power plays, you really have to make them count. One goal could be a big difference maker. Here's a chance to get it out. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Slides it across to Carlson. Big play inside the defensive zone. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. And he slides it quickly to O'Reilly. Knocks the puck loose after a solid hit. And manages to clear the zone. Picked up along the boards by Hoffman. Picking up some steam at center ice. San Jose's got a chance to work the transition game now shorthanded. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. The Blues gain possession along the wall. Now a quick pass to O'Reilly. Coughs it up in the neutral zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Takes a wrist shot, stopped by the goaltender. From their own end, time winding down here on this power play. They gotta get something going here. Yeah, you gotta get into the zone first, James. Get it set up, start moving the puck around, but they've gotta get into the zone quickly. San Jose's moving it up the ice. That's some good footwork to kick it away. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. San Jose's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. O'Reilly's won it. Centering pass! Power play now over both teams back at even strength, and the power play fails to deliver at a crucial time. Now the power play will wrap up, and they miss with a chance to score a really important power play goal. Smart defensive play there. And now it's grabbed by Donato. And he slides it quickly to Nosen. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Moves the puck along the half wall. Up the neutral zone now. Makes a move and the puck hops away from him. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. The Sharks have it now. The Blues gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Answered the call on that play. Puts it to the front of the net. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. The Blues get a hold of the puck along the boards. Taken by Yaros. Loose puck battle along the boards. 
pokes it away in his own end. Yaros carries the puck in his own zone. The Sharks take it across the blue line. Couture's working it around in the corner. Grabbed along the boards by Sanford. And now he moves it quickly to Blay. And it's a quick pass to Couture. Handles the puck from the left side. Let's it fly. Dead eyes him on the play. Gillies is going to cover things up for a faceoff. In the third period, you better be sure most nights, but in a close game, you want to be doubly sure that the decisions you make are as good as they can possibly be. Here in the later stages of this period, San Jose's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Nearing the final minute of regulation. Of and he round. slides it quickly to Yeros. Can't find his man. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Sharks take possession in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the left. Taken along the wall by Sorensen. Strong defensive effort. Puck grabbed by Perron. And now he moves it to play. And he slides it quickly to Fulk. Into the offensive end now. Jabs the puck away. The Blues have pulled the goaltender here. They've got the extra attacker out on the ice in hopes of a goal. Doesn't go. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Circles back to center ice. To the empty net. Can't get it to go. The Blues gain possession in their own end. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. I guess they can take some solace in the fact that this was a close game, James. The losing streak continues, but they're getting better. But can you find those consolation prizes? It's hard to find that during a streak like this, isn't it? There's, there's really nothing you can do except try to play the next game and try to play it with confidence, but at least you can take something out of this. And that'll do it. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.